Hello, it's Sally here from Dotty B. Welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be working on a um, little project, a new project. Um, love is in the air. It's nearly Valentine's Day, so I'm going to be doing a Valentine's um, little piece. Um, I've um, cut my fabric to fit onto a card, but it can also be framed or... Um, don't know what else you could do with it and um, put it on a little banner maybe um hanging like a wall hanging type thing but um i kind of just made mine so that it um it fits onto a blank card so um let me show you what i've done i have made this i hope you can see it all um i've made a template so there's my design um, and I'm going to, I've made a PDF of this and I'm going to make it available in my, um, um, in my group, Dotty B Slow Stitching. So if you join the group, then you can, um, there should be kind of, I think a link and um, you'll be able to click on it and get the PDF um, if you wanted to make one yourself. So what I've done is um, I've got the writing and everything and there are my husband's initials and my initials. So what I've also done is just done an alphabet so that you can actually put your own initials on or you can draw your own your own letters on whatever but um if you want a copy of this then i will make it available in my facebook group so um pop over there and pick it up so if you want to stitch along that will be great and also you could put them into when you've done them you could also um, put them into the facebook group and um so everyone can see um, all of the all of the love, spread the love. So, as I say, I've cut my. Um, what I've done is I've tr I've traced this. Um, well, what I did was I traced this bit, the, the, just the main part to start with. Um, I've kind of made little dots where the corners are, um, which fits onto my piece. You can actually you could you could draw the whole thing out. So what I'm going to do is I've cut my heart out. It's a little bit different. I think what I've done is I've gone and um, yeah, I've done it the wrong way around. But it doesn't matter. It'll be fine. I don't mind it that way at all. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace on my letters, my words, so that I know where I'm placing my heart. So I'm going to do that first. So I'm going to have it about, about there, I think. So... Um, I have already drawn on the back of this tracing paper, so it should, my letters should come through okay. But you could draw it freehand as well if you're, um, I'm never confident, I always make a mistake if I try to do it freehand. So I like to trace my letters. So I'm just gonna go over that a little bit more. I don't think I was pressing down hard enough. That's okay, so I can just kind of go over. You can also use a friction pen, which will iron off. I'm doing pencil, but I'm, I'm only doing it light, so um, you should be able to see it when it comes to, when I come to sew it. Okay. And then Valentine down here. There we go. Okay, so that's my words, just so that I know I've got enough room. There's quite um there's quite a lot going on here. If I just fold that over now so we can see what we've got to do. Right. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop that up there, just um so it's out the way. Right, so first of all I'm going to attach my heart. Now um I've chosen um like a red velvet i'm not sure whether that's the right choice or not because it's 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 molting all over my work so i don't know whether that's the right choice or not um i, I have i did have some other choices i was um i was torn between this i thought that would um, i thought that would look quite nice the heart and um, the 
flowers and I've also got this as well which has got quite a deep um quite a deep pink pinkish red and I was kind of thinking I could probably do something on that as well which I quite like that actually I probably should have gone for that but um, I haven't I've gone for red velvet um so and I'm also this is um just a linen a linen fabric that I've cut off a um a little tablecloth type thing um so that's that um all the measurements are on the template as well um and then I've also gathered I'll just show you what supplies that I've gathered kind of some reds and pinks and then I've got blues and greens going into a goldy yellowy type color and I've also got some trim as well um like an old gold trim type thing and I've got some Suffolk puffs I thought I might put a Suffolk puff on as well so uh, oh and I've got some whoops I've got some buttons um some a bit of diamante there just all got little um metal heart i think there's a couple of metal hearts in there a heart button i couldn't find any heart buttons to be honest i found a couple of pink ones but that's all i had and i've got little that's like a little bead and i've got some more beads as well which um, i'm going to add on on later so anyway let's get um let's get started i'm going to attach my heart first of all now i'm just going to because it's it's velvet and it'll probably slide all over the place i'm just gonna i'm gonna glue it down so all i'm using is like a um this is just like a paper glue stick and um, this is you who but you can get in the uk you can get prit stick um you can get other brands as well um i'm just putting a tiny bit on just so that i can make sure it's going to stay in place so somewhere somewhere there will be perfect So the first thing I am going to do is get that um, get that on. So I'm going to go round the heart with um, kind of like a goldy. I've got some golds here, goldy yellow colours. That's quite nice actually. I think I might go for that one. And I'm going to um, just get it attached. So hopefully I'll have enough. These are all little ones that I've had lying around for a while, and there's not that much on them, but um, I'm hoping to use them up. So we'll see how we go. Um, this is just six stranded um, embroidery floss. Um, it could be DMC, it could be Anchor. I'm not sure what this is. It's, I've had it years and years. So I'm using two strands. I'm going to rub my needle. I'm just hoping this is going to work and I'm going to get the edge down so that um, it's not going to fray too much, hopefully. Now here you could do um, like a buttonhole stitch, that would be quite good. Um, I'm going to do a, um, I think I'm going to do a, like a fly stitch. So I'm going to come up there into my heart, go over to the side and then I'm going to come back up in my heart. Just to the edge, I'm hoping this is going to work. I'm going to fly stitch all the way round. I think actually I might do my little stem bit on the just on the outside. seen how that looks if it doesn't look right then I may have to no it's not looking right I'm going to take that off because it's I should have practiced before I came on film but it didn't I think it would it's not looking right right let's just try that again I forget anything about fly stitch I'm going to do um I'm just going to overcast it, I think, like a whip, like a whip stitch type thing. So I'm going to do quite close together. 
it's just because it's fraying. I can feel it fraying as, I put, as I'm putting my needle in. It's not the best fabric to do this kind of thing with. I could have, I could have um, turned it over, under, I suppose, um, but I haven't. So, hey ho, ouch. I'm going to do it quite close together. I'm just going to move some of this out of the way because it's getting caught up. Let's pop that all over that side. Once I've got this tied down, I think hopefully it will settle. I bought I bought this velvet for a, a, a um, another project, and um, it was actually a heart project, and I cut it out, and it was it was fraying so much, and I don't know, it's called pilling, where all these little fibres are coming out. So I abandoned it. I didn't use it again. So I've never, I've had it a few years now, and I've never really used it. It's a lovely colour though, but um, it was just. It's quite hard to work with. Well, I find it hard to work with. But um, let's see how we get on. It seems okay now. Let's settle down a bit. So I'm going to go all the way around, just doing this really easy stitch. How are you all today? I hope you're all well and you're finding time to stitch. I've. Um, been in the garden this well, well earlier on today um just to fill up all the um the bird feeders and everything and um hearing a lot of cheap 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 cheeping now of the birds in the mornings I'm busy doing whatever the birds do in the morning and waking up and finding their food and everything so i thought um, i must go and tend to the bird table because it's been neglected a little bit it was looking a little bit um shot oops they yeah, it's looking a bit shabby, so I've gone and um, they've got a new, f like a suet block thing. Um, they've got some food, some grainy type stuff, seeds and whatnot. And they've got some, are they meal, mealworms? I won't say mealworms, but like little wormy things. So I've got some of those as well. So I'm hoping... I'll see lots and lots of little birds coming and feeding. It's right outside my window as I'm sewing. I can just glance up and um, and see. We've got a bird bath there as well, so it's nice when I come to have a little drink or a little bathe. You see them sometimes all in a group and they're just um, splashing around, cleaning themselves. was um what was it um there was a, a magpie in the garden this morning just on its own which isn't usually very lucky one on its own i don't think one for one for sorrow two for joy i did look for another one but i couldn't see one So rather than you watch me go all the way around here, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to leave that for now. Um, and it, yeah, that's that's looking okay, actually. There's just, I think, yeah, once it settles down, that'll be fine. So I'm going to go all the way around, but what I'll do is I'll do the rest of it off camera just so that um, I'm not boring you by doing that all the time. I'll show you what else I'm going to do. So um, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do the letters now. I did think that I would do them in a blue. I've got some blues here and I think they're all kind of they're not the same shade. So let's have a look at, um, this is quite a thick one. I don't I think they're both the same actually. I don't know what they are. Oh, they're both anchor. What does that say? That's an eight. What does that one say? It doesn't say. 
No, it doesn't say. Never mind. And that one is a thinner one. I think that one may be, may be better. I don't want to go too bulky. Let's try this one and see how we get on. So I'm going blue for this. It's going to be quite a, quite a bright picture card when I'm finished, I think. But um, you can always, if you were going to do this, you could always tone your colours down if you don't want to. What's happened there? What on earth is that? Don't know what's up in there. When I first glanced at it, I thought it was a spider. <laughs> Until I realised it was a clump of um, thread. Oh dear, I had a fright um, the other day. I was um, tidying um, tidying up a few bits and looking through some fabric. Oh, there's this massive... Honestly, I, it's about that. It was like that. Oh, it was horrible. This massive spider. It was not nice. It made me jump. I just put all my fabric on the floor and just left it. And I saw the fab I saw the fabric. I saw the um the spider crawl out, so I kind of got some tissue paper and gently picked it up and uh, ran outside with it. Ugh. I don't like spiders. Um I am thinking I am going to do um what kind of to do a split back stitch where I can I think Like that. It's not splitting very easily. These letters are going to have little little curly bits on them. Like that. I'll say split that stitch where, where I can, but because of that, that, that little curly bit I haven't done, that's not split, but um, I'll split where I can. And I may couch if I can't get, um, if I can't get the right curve on my letters. Let's see how we go. By splitting you can usually you can usually manipulate it so it does kind of fall where you want it to fall again I'm not going to do all of the letters with you watching me because um, it just get boring for you So I'll try and do as many elements as I can and then come back and show you the rest, I think. But um, go on for now. I know we've only got, it's, I think it's the 12th today, isn't it? We've only got a couple of days left until it's Valentine's Day. So whether whether anybody will actually want to do this project, I'm not sure. I was I was trying to get it done yesterday, but I just didn't have time. My um, We had the family round um, for a meal and my son and his um, fiancé came round and 
so I didn't have time to do it yes to do the video yesterday I did prep some of it and draw it out yesterday but um, that's all I did just want to say thank you to everybody who's um, subscribed to me um, got over 2,000 subscribers now. I think that went over at the weekend. So thank you so much. And um, if you haven't subscribed and you want to subscribe, that would be great. Um, it doesn't cost a penny. You just have to um, press the subscriber button and the notification button if you want to do that, if you want notifications. But um, it doesn't cost a penny. It's free. And all, the, um, all of the people that are in the Facebook group as well. That's I can't remember how many is in there. It's gone over <laughs> so many thousand now. I'm, I've lost track. Um, but I do try and um, reply to everybody's comment on everybody's posts and everything, and like everybody's posts and whatnot. And I do read them. And it's great to see see what everybody's up to. Whether you're doing um, one of my projects or one of the other projects that are going on, the um, the Roxy project. Um, with the wearables, we're in the wearables at the moment, aren't we? I've just done my um, bracelet-y type thing. I've got the second video of that one to do, but I'll be doing that later on this week and putting that together. And um, there's lots of other projects as well that you can stitch along to. I must start my um, Jan sorry not January um, my February um, calendar that I'm stitching along with um, Susanna Vintage Blend Studios. Um, she's um, she's on on February now. That's a heart project as well, a little heart project. So I've got um, got that one to catch up on. I've not started that yet, so I'll have to start on that one soon. Otherwise, before we know it, February will be a bit be over. Right, so that's my B. I'm just going to finish that off. There we go. So that's letters. Um, right, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do some of the foliage. Oh, actually, I'll tell you what I will do. Um, I'm going to, um, on here, I've got a big flower down here and I thought I'd do a Suffolk puff. So I've got some Suffolk puffs here. Um, I didn't know whether to do just a plain, a plain one or, I've got that one, which, yeah, it's got to be that one, hasn't it? It'll go with the blue. I'm going to do that one. So I'm going to kind of, um, I think I might place that before I do the, or shall I do the outer? No, because I won't need to. I'm going to put that on. So I'm going to have that and I'm going to use the blue, I think, to do this. And I think I might bead, put some beads in the centre. So here, I'm just going to go all the way around with little stitches. If I can get to the edge. So just tiny stitches all the way round. You could even um, fussy cut out a flower and put a flower here if you didn't want to do a suffer puff. That would look quite nice. Or embroider a flower. That would look good. So I'm going to um, I'm going to put beads on throughout the heart, I think, and then sprinkle them around as well. Once I've finished all my flowers, um, I'm going to do some rose buds as well. You can see that they've got some rose, these are rosebuds, they're supposed to be rosebuds. Hopefully they'll look like rosebuds when I've finished with them. I 
I may do a little bit of um, I've got some kind of ribbony type I've got there's my like that kind of I don't know what it is actually it's um, I know it's a Steph Francis <coughs> excuse me thing and it's variegated um, and but it's it's not actually it's it, it's like it's been knitted it's like if I pull it that way it kind of look can you, can you see it's kind of like a knitted type thing I don't know what it is but um, so I'm going to use some of that as if I was doing embroidery uh, sorry ribbon embroidery I think I'm going to have a go anyway and see I've not used that that kind of stuff before if you, I've done a couple of little ribbon embroidery flowers so I'm hoping it'll kind of work the same way that that, that normal ribbon does hopefully I bought a um, like a, a job lot of threads and that was in it along with that one some nice variegated I can't remember what else was in there was that, I got a few oh I got that one there that's like a greeny greeny goldy yellowy one so that might be nice to have a go at um, maybe the leaves some leaves Right, so I've gone all the way around my sort of puff and I'm just going to finish that off for now. Make the sew and I'm going to, I'm, I will be beading the centre but I'm not going to do that just right yet because, oops Daisy, because the beads will get in the way I think. So I'm going to do um, some, right let's have a look. So I've got some leaves here to do. So just down here uh, I'm just going to draw them on freehand I, th I don't think it will matter too much about there's one there and then there's going to be one about here can you see there sorry I don't know whether I'm too far okay so one there that's not close enough that's a little bit closer something like that Oops. so on these two I'm going to use this variegated so this is a, it's a brand I've not heard of before, Trebler, Tre 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 Trebler, I don't know, it was in, in a pack that I had, so I'm going to use that anyway, it's nice, it's variegated, so it's quite nice, um, need a, another needle because that's too thin, um, do one of those. And I think I'm going to do um, a kind of, I'm saying, mo no, it's not moss, fern, fern stitch. I think it's a fern stitch. So I'm going down like that. So just grab the knot. I'm using all six strands of this as well. And then you come up one side, down the other, and then go up on this little, at the end of that stitch that you've just made, the first stitch, and then loop it round and then it kind of it's a bit like a, a Y type shape and then you just put a little stitch to hold it and then you do another one and I'm just following the leaf shape down so you've got like a little V and then you're going to go up at the end of that stitch Do what I'm doing, you can do your own stitches. Right, 
This is one that makes it makes it quite nice, quite a nice pattern. done in this one. It's the beauty of working with thicker threads. They don't take that long to do. I think I've gone and to not. They don't take long to um, to fill a space up. I think I'm just going to do one more. That will bring me in about touching distance of the of the flower itself. Oops. There we go. So that's done. Can you see that? Can you put it up to the camera so you can see that. I'm going to do one here as well. my the end as well there we go okay right let's um i don't need to do i need to cut that off or can i feed it through i can probably feed it through actually let's go through it there and then when you're doing these actually i probably should cut it cut it off because when you're doing these stitches you have to start on the outer on the outside and go in otherwise the oh I've made a right mess of this thread let me just get my thread straight um, I don't even know what's happened right okay done um, when you do one of these leaves, you want to start at the the outer edge and work inwards because otherwise the the veins of the leaves don't they go that way. I'm talking from experience. I've done it the wrong way around and it didn't look quite right. So if you start from here, the tip, and work back, work inwards, that will give you a nice a nice leaf with veins, the veins going the right way. So you put in your first stitch and then you start one side, go over to the other side and then come up where that stitch, where that stitch was, ends, where that stitch ends, sorry. And then make sure it goes over that's it so you stitch you catch your stitch like that it's like a little a v-shape or a y once you put your little tail in like so that holds it down news I 
did I say it's a lovely sunshiny day today? I know I was talking about the birds and the bird feeder, but um, it's really sunny today. It's lovely. It's not warm <laughs> at all. I don't know what degrees it is today. It's not mega cold, but um, it's lovely and sunny. So it always makes me nice and, nice and cheerful. And it's lovely and sunny. A couple more, I think, and then we're done. Yeah, one more. I don't know where that red's come from. That little bit of red. Yeah. Okay. So that's that one, like that, and because it's variegated, you can see kind of they're the same, but they're not the same. Colour wise, so they look lovely. Yeah, really happy with those, so they're done. Um, right, next, I'm going to right, if I look on here. I'm going to have to be careful because my um, that looks a lot, although it's kind of like it's the same size, but um, I don't know if that kind of looks because there's not that much room, but um, I'm sure I will have enough room. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, to quickly just draw. You can trace if you wanted to trace, but I'm just going to draw. This is only a small one, this little bud. So I'm going to do a little rose bud there. Um, so I'm going to start off with um, some green thread. I'm just going to do this. This is like a perle. Um, I don't know what it is because I haven't got a sticker on or label on. Um, that's not my needle. That's my needle. Again. Okay, so just one strand of this. And I'm just going to do a um, let's do a stem stitch. So I need to start at the end and then you kind of work back on yourself. I'm just trying to get that out of the way. So you start there and then it's like a, it's kind of like you're working back on yourself Like that. The beauty with this is that there's, there is a lot of detail in in it, but they're all quite um, quite simple stitches, and they're just little lines, really. Most of the things are just like little lines, and um, there, you see, it, it just take just takes seconds to do. So, although it looks a complicated piece, this it's quite simple it's not too once you break it down into little bits and you do like if you could do all your stems first get those done then move on to your buds get those done then do your leaves so it doesn't take it's not going to take that long to do although it is kind of a slow stitchy type thing so and it's hand stitching so you can you know 
can always take your time and you can add a little bit of bit more embellishments and whatnot to make it a little bit more complicate you know complicated and a little bit more fuller if you like okay so that's that my um, fabric's fraying a little bit so I'm just going to pull those fray frayed bits off okay so here is a leaf and all I'm going to do for this leaf is come up with the same fabric but sorry not fabric um thread so I'm just trying to get that other thread out of the way um and my leaf's going to be like that length so it's just a satin stitch that I'm doing on this one because it's only a small leaf and I'm just going to Make sure it's all tied down. So that's one half of the leaf. And then I'm just going to go on the other side. I mean, you can leave it like that. That kind of looks leafy like. You can do this or you can draw it from the template and just do a satin stitch or any other stitch what you want you can you can do more um, fern stitch if you wanted but i'm just going to do a little little leaf like that okay that's fine then i'm going to go back up and i'm going to do a bud for the rosebud so i'm going to just trim um just tap Oh, that in there. I think that's the end of yeah. So that's going to be my um, where my rosebud is. So like this piece of gold thread keeps getting in my way. Right. So my rosebud is going to start with a bit of green. So if I look at the thing here, this bit's going to be green, and then this is going to be the pinky reddy colour. So I think I might do, I might do the pink. Um, that first of all and see how we get on with that one the pink bud with some ribbon embroidery oops I've gone the wrong way so I'm just going to do the little bit of green bud bit first I'm sure it's got a name but I can't think what the name is to work your stitches just so until it looks like how you want it so I think that will probably be about right so I'm just going to finish off my green okay and then I'm going to get um, a needle that will fit this Which isn't that one. I think it's this one here. I think this might be a chenille 22. Yeah. Okay, so let's have a go. Alright, so I think what you do is to make your knot, first of all, you kind of go through the ouch. You go through the end of that and that will make a knot you see it's kind of made a knot as long as I don't pull too hard I think it'll be okay right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here at the end of my little green bud thing um, and then you go through your ribbon like that. 
and it makes a little curl at the end like that and I'm just going to do one this side again I don't know how many I'm going to do I'm probably going to do three but if two looks okay then I'll leave it at two I'm just going to see how it looks um, because I've come up quite close I'm having trouble getting my needle through there we go don't pull too hard because you don't want this coming undone so again up to there and then down through the ribbon and you get a little curl yeah you see that I think that's okay that's it I'm not doing any more than that that I think it'll be overkill so can you see how they curl, they curl up so sweet it's like a little rosebud so that'd be lovely I'm going to leave that I'm just going to gently knot it I don't want to um I don't want to pull too hard but I think that would be fine okay there little rosebud um, and then I've got another one coming up here and I've got another one down here I think it is yeah let's have a look on here so I've got another this is one of those again with some little leaves and another one down here and then this here was just like a little curly frond so let's do this one next this one's just going to have beads on it with a little bit of um, decorative stitching possibly so if I get my pencil and again you can you can trace this if you want to trace it but I'm just going to it's kind of like that just leaving enough room for the rose bud as well so it's kind of like that um, right so I am going to use, um, shall I use some, yeah I like the variegated, I'm going to use the variegated, I've got, a, oh I thought that was a knot, it's common done, so let's use a little bit of that, I'll just use this needle here, I've also got some um, variegated reds as well. That would be nice to put some of that on somewhere. Right, so I'm going to show you how to do, I'll do this. I think I'm going to do um, fly. I think I'm doing a fly stitch here. So I'm going to start with a straight, straight stitch. It would help if I knotted it. Okie dokie, so I'm going to start this way, so I'm going to do, can you remember the fly stitch that I started on here? So I'm not doing it there, but I am doing it here. To be honest, it's a bit like fern stitch, but you're making your, your stems a little bit longer. So that's the first one, a bit of a stem. And then another one. That's not long enough.
and like that. And I'm, going, I'm just going to curl it all the way. Let's keep going all the way around so it curls, curls around on itself. And then I'm going to scatter some beads around it as well. feel as if I've done that one right. I'm upside down, aren't I? That's not right. I'm just going to take that one out. I don't know what happened there. I wasn't paying attention. Let's do that one again. I need to take that one out as well. Let's do that one again. Okay, so where were we? Right. It's better. Getting, um, we're getting towards the curly bits now, where it's going to go right round on itself. I'm trying to control my stitches now, I probably need to be a little bit smaller just so that I can fit them in. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to thread caught again. I'm just going to go round on myself now. I'm not going uh, just a back stitch. I'm not going to do any more just because I don't think I'll have I'll be able to when I've got I want to put beads in as well. So I'm just going to go around just a back stitch. Like a so. Oh, that looks nice though, doesn't it? Oh, I like that. I do like that. Let me just finish that off. Tie it off. There we go. So, what else I forgot to do? So, I'm going to Right, so I'm going to do that off camera. I'm going to go all the way around off camera. I'll show you how to do the letters inside. So again, you will do your own letters, which you can use from, you can either draw your own or you can um, trace, trace them off here. So I'm going to just draw my letters. There's my J. There's S. Okay, I'm just going to put dots after them and then I'm going to use the gold again. So I'm going to use this gold, I think, because I like this. So I'm going to actually sneak some of this now. So I know I've been working at the edge, but I'm going to go over and do this. So I'll tell you what, we'll start with the start with this now um i would usually do a french knot here but i've just been um doing my little bracelet that i'm doing for the um 
Roxy Journal and Stitchery and um, I've, I was looking at um, watching a video of Jude Hill and she does what are called she calls thread beads and all it is is just you just sew over and over until you get this little kind of a bead of a stitch and um, instead it's, it's, she uses it instead of French knots because it's a little bit more where sometimes French knots can get caught up and um, and kind of come up a little bit these these don't these are just little stitches a collection of stitches that look like a little bead so I'm just that's what I'm going to do I just like the effect of them so it's like a, new, a different French knot but it's not a French knot it's just a collection of little satin stitches all clustered together to make In this case a dot. There, can you see? Just a little dot. Okay, right. Um, so I'm going to start on the S and um, I am going to what stitch shall I use? I think I'm going to use a stem stitch just because it will make it a little bit thicker. I should have probably used more than two strands. I'm not sure if two is going to be enough because it's kind of sinking into the velvet. But let, let's see how I get on. Maybe okay. Yep, seems okay actually. liking it so far. What um what do you do for Valentine's anyway? Do you do anything special? Dinners? Out for, di out for, out for dinner? We don't, we don't really do that much, to be honest. We don't really do anything, if I'm honest. <laughs> so, <laughs> he'll think I've gone balmy if I give him this. But um, I just thought it would be nice, something nice to do. Yes, I think that looks okay. Yep, yeah, quite pleased with that. So I'm just going to travel down. That's the thing. Um, I'm just going to go down like this. I've not got um, stray threads going everywhere. Just ties it down. I'm going to go to that other dot. Somewhere there. The other one. You see how you can't see it at first because the um, it's, it's going into the velvet, but um, if you just have to build it up.
like that. Then I can do. Yeah. And then over to the J. Um, all right, I'm going to start here. So I've got a loop on the J. Ouch. To take it around like that. Got to see a hair on me. So I can, so I'm just having a look to see, right, I need to go up here now. I'm just going to see where my line was. There we go. Nearly done. And one more to the top, like that. And then across. It starts about there. Okay. A couple more. And then I think we're finished. I think that's the last one. Like that. Uh, there's a few bits that we'll just need tidying up afterwards when I've finished. But that's that bit done. Is my J looking too small? Mm, not sure. Right, okay. So I am going to go away now and just finish off my letters, um, finish off going edging this and finishing off the roses and then I'll come back and show you how I'm going to decorate with beads and whatnot and then I'm going to also, I'm going to put some trim on it I think, I like that gold trim, I think that'll just finish it off nicely. So. I'll do a little bit more stitching and then I'll come back and show you. Okay. Right, I've um, got a little bit further on this now. So I've, um, I've finished all of my um, embroidery, embroidering the letters. I've done all the flowers. Um, I've beaded, a little bit of beading in there. I've put some diamante. It's not really diamante. It's just a little bit of costume, broken costume jewellery on there. But I thought it added a little, little bit of sparkle. Um, I've started with some beads and I just thought I'd um, start with the trim and just get the trim on. So what I've done with the trim is I've just done, it's really just a tacking stitch all the way, just a running stitch all the way around. So all I've done is just um, where the holes are in the the, the, um, the braid, I've just um, run my needle through as close to the edge as I dare um, because it's, um, it's a raw edge. Uh, I've just got to be careful of it fraying too much and... Um, so I'm trying to go in just a little bit. Um, it seems to be okay at the moment. So um, I'm sure that will be fine. It's not going to have that much of a, a, a hard life, if you like. It's not going to. It's not to, exactly going to be um, used very much when it's done. So I'm sure it'll be fine. So I'm just going to go to the corner. And then what I've been doing with the corners is I've just been doing a couple of extra stitches just to make sure that they, they it stays in the corner before I go, go round the corner. So just like that. I might not have caught on that one, I'm not sure. And then I just want to show you how I'm going to join it. So I've got a little bit of an edge there. So I'm just going to cut it 
cut it off there so that's got plenty i've got plenty of room to play i've still got plenty of um to play with here so i'm just going to go again just tacking or running stitch around the edge until i get close to the other bit and then I've still got some bits to fraying, but um, yeah, that'll be okay still. Let me just take those off, get caught in my thread. Right, okay, so here where I've got um, I've got a bit of an over, overhang, I'm just going to cut it a little bit shorter. And then I'm going to try and match it up as best I can. should hold I've just used it and um, this is a cream thread and it doesn't seem to be that visible so it's not too bad so I'm just going to just do a couple of little stitches to make sure it doesn't come undone that's, I think that's the, that's the, the end of the thread that I started with I'm just going to yeah, I can see one knot, I've just gone and pulled it. Okay, let's try again. Oops, there goes a button. There, I think that's going to be okay. I'm just going to go back and knot it off. Should hold. Ah, so that's my border. Um, and I just want to do a couple more little bit of bits of embellishment. Um, I've been using because um, th this is red. I've been I've been using um, a red thread just um, just to hide my thread marks really because um, the white would have shown through a little bit too much. I think so. Um, I am using a red one. Um, I've just got some, uh, ouch, <laughs> stop myself. I've got a few more embellishments here. Um, I quite like that little pink bobble, bobbly bead. So I'm going to pop that one on. I should probably have used pink actually for this one, but um, I don't think the red's going to show too much. So I have got more beads as well. Um, I don't know whether an orangey one would go. Mm. I quite like the little tiny small ones. I thought that one might look a little bit goldy, but it doesn't, it looks yellow. So I'm going to leave that one off. I'm not going to have that one. Uh, I've got more red. It's a bit big though. I've got small. Ah, oh, yeah, I like it there. Right, let me just... Um, can't move my thread across that much so I'm just going to tie that off um, and I was going to do that somewhere here wasn't I another couple of beads. I'm just using these little red red beads here. Okay. 
Okay, um, I don't want to overkill it with buttons, but um, no, I think they're too big. I don't think, no, I'm not going to go for white. So buttons I've finished with, happy with that. Uh, I have got a little heart that looks quite nice, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm going to pop that one on. I think I'll just have to finish my thread off because it's too far over there. I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use the cream and thread just to put that silver one on. I've got some silver thread somewhere, but um, I'm not sure where it is. Because it's quite difficult to sew with. I don't like sewing with metallic threads, to be honest. So we'll pop that one on. I think that looks nice. One more stitch. And I think it's about done. Let's have a look how it looks. There. Um, I might just put another couple of beads on. Where's my red thread? It just needs a couple more beads. Yeah, I think that's about, yep, yeah, I quite like that. I don't want to overdo it, but um, don't want to underdo it either. So, but I'm quite pleased with that. So there we go. Let's have a quick look and see how it looks. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So what I could do now is I can either um, stick it onto a card. I can put it into a picture frame or what I'm going to do, <laughs> I'm not doing it for them. I'm going to put it into my, my stitch book and save it. Because if I know if I put it onto a card, it will just get chucked in a drawer or chucked away. So um, I'm going to pop that into my, my stitch, stitch book there. Okay, so yeah, I'm really pleased with that, how it's turned out, I love it, yep. So I hope you've enjoyed um, watching this and I hope you stitch along as well. Um, I will load up, um, once I've loaded this video up, then I will also load up um, and make accessible the PDF for you if you want to um, download that. So um, yeah, if you do do it, then please let me um, share it on the Facebook group and um, let me know how you got on. Okay, thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you again soon. Okay, take care. Bye bye. <laughs>